The average person can type 30 to 40 words per minute. Have you ever tested your typing speed? There are lots of typing tests available online, such as TypeRacer, and they are fun and useful. One particular site that I like the most is called the Typing Speed Test by AOEU. The typing test consists of only commonly used words and there are no punctuations at all, allowing users to truly test their typing speed instead of their reading skills. My plan is to build my own version of a typing test using JavaScript, which can be run purely on the client side. Let's dive in. The first thing that we need to make is the user interface. And this is my web page design. There are five labels for statistics, three labels for word display, and of course, an input field. The start button at the bottom allows the user to start and restart the game and the bolded label displays the current word that the user should type. These are the CSS styles applied to the web page. I decided to follow the method AOEU used that is to use common and simple English words only. I selected some verbs in the top 1000 verbs list provided by TalkEnglish.com. These words are stored inside a words constant array. We have a single JavaScript called game.js. The update UI function updates the UI views and applies data to the labels when being called. The generate word function randomly selects a word from the words array. The previously selected word is stored in the variable called last. It is then compared to the newly selected word and see if the word duplicates. If a word gets duplicated, it is discarded and a new one will be picked. The count correct char function returns the number of correct characters of a word that a user has typed in. The check function is called whenever the content of input word changes. If the last character of the input is a space character, it indicates the end of input for the current word. The length of the user input will be directly added to char sum growth, regardless of the correctness, and the result of count correct char will be added to char sum net. We will get into these variables later. The current word will be discarded from the word list and input word will be cleared for the next word. The CPM or characters per minute is calculated using the following formula. We take the gross character sum and divide it by the elapsed time in minutes. The result is then rounded to integer. This is the function responsible for calculating the net CPM. There are two types of WPM, or words per minute, namely net WPM and gross WPM. The former uses only the number of correct characters for the calculation, while the latter uses the number of all characters that the user has entered. This is the formula for calculating WPM. The character count is first divided by 5, which is the average English word length. It is then divided by the elapsed time in minutes. It is rounded to integers afterwards. These two functions calculate the net and gross WPM respectively. The peak net WPM is recorded in addition. The typing accuracy is calculated by dividing the net character sum by the gross character sum. It is converted to percentage and floored to integer afterwards. And the typing test is done. The choice of words can be easily modified. And I have even created a hardcore mode consisting of ridiculously long words, which is really challenging. 
The app is available on my website at yellowflicker.com. If you're interested, feel free to give it a try. A quick reminder, if your finger starts to hurt, definitely stop and take a rest immediately. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Yellow Flicker and I will see you soon.